pursue God passionately. Matthew 22 verse 37. Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. So Jesus is asking us to give him all of us, everything that we have in loving him. Uh, and God wants us to keep that passion right from get-go, you know, all the way uh, through our journey with Him. You know, if we just take some time to recall uh, the day we gave our lives to Christ, you know, I'm sure uh, we can look back and say that each one of us were so passionate. You know, we we uh, gave God all of our energy. You know, we we worshipped God uh, like there was no tomorrow. Uh, but as we began to walk with God, you know, if at all complacency has set in, you know, then we really have to repent of that and say, God, you know, I don't want to lose that passion, oh God, which I had for you when I first encountered you, when I first met you. And God wants us to have that kind of love for him. And think about Martha and Mary. You know, that's a, a, a very a popular illustration where, where we see that Martha got busy in doing the works for God. But Mary chose the better thing. Mary chose the good thing, which was to sit at the feet of Jesus uh, and to give him uh, her full attention. And even today, what God wants from us is that passionate pursuit where we're saying, God, we want to give you first place. And it is Jesus uh, who taught us, uh, you know, seek ye first the kingdom of God. We give God first place. We give his kingdom first place in our lives. And whatever it is that could take away that position of God, that center stage that God has in our hearts, you know, we have to come against those things. We've got to repent uh, uh, of those uh, distractions in our lives and, and say, God, you will always remain the, the main focus of my life. And God wants red hotness. And even as we consider the way God uh, uh, gave a report to the churches in the book of Revelation, in Revelation chapter 3, uh, verses 14 to 22, we, we see that one of the churches was known for its great work towards God, but uh, it lost its passion. Uh, and Jesus did not, uh, God did not want that. And God wants us to keep that red um, hot fire and passion towards him. And so in our walk with him, let's never lose that. We had it when we began with God and let's keep that uh, going to new levels and, and just taking it higher each time. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, uh, that Father God, you have, uh, Lord, our heart and you have our worship. Uh, and God, we pray that we will never lose that fire, oh God, which we had when we first met you. Lord, we pray that, Lord, everything that we do, God, we will align ourselves more and more, God, to you and the things of the kingdom. And God, that we will seek you and the kingdom first, oh God. And Father, we thank you even as we do that, as we keep the focus focus that Lord you will add all things to us Father and Lord we thank you for doing it in Jesus name we pray Amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit abcwo.org